Casey, your girl's back. Hi again, it's Abigail, and I'm so glad I can finally share a devotional with you guys again. We're going to jump right into it, and I want to share about how God keeps good appointments. So, let's read Genesis chapter 18, and it is going to be, um, let me pull it up. I want to say verse 14, but let me get my Bible really quick. Do, 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 do. This has been like a very important verse in my life lately, and so um, it is verse 14. Score, you guys, this is exciting. <laughs> I remembered. Anyways, verse 14 in Genesis 18 says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. This is when God was giving Abraham and Sarah the promise of a child, and they were doubting. But God said, nope, I have a time, and there's a season of life, and you're going to have a child. Then we go over to Exodus, and we're going to go to chapter 12, verse 41. And it says, And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, even the self same day it came to pass, that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. Then we go to 2 Kings chapter 4. And I know we're flipping in our Bibles a lot, but we're going somewhere here. So, 2 Kings chapter 4. I'm going to turn with you there. So, I'm giving you a couple moments in case you want to follow along because it'd be so cute if we're doing our Bible study together. I'm just saying. Okay. Here we are. Oh. Okay, my bookmark's flipping me back. I can do this. Okay, chapter 4. We're here. Okay, so 2 Kings chapter 4. And it's going to be verse 16. I'm looking at my notes. That's what I'm doing, like, just randomly turning my head. Anyway, okay, verse 16. It says, And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my, my lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaid. So this is when the prophet was giving a promise by the Spirit of God to a woman who was struggling to bear children. And God was saying, you know, you're going to have a child. And she's like, but God said, nope, there's a time, there's a season, we're gonna, it's gonna happen. So then we go all the way forward to Ecclesiastes chapter three. And I think I turned past it, so let me go back. Oh, you guys, this is goofy. Okay, I can get there, I promise. I do read this. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, here we are. Chapter three, verse one says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 4 says, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. It talks about later on in the chapter, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away. And then down in verse 11 it says, he hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he hath set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. And then verse 14 says, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it that men should fear before him. Thinking of these verses, let's go to a very practical application. Okay, so all of us at least I hope all of us, <laughs> um, spend a, a little bit of time every year at the dentist office. Usually it's a couple times, like every six months, you'll go in and get your cleaning and they'll freshen you up and you'll walk out feeling like you're just sparkling and it's wonderful. So, well, I guess it depends on the dentist, but it's wonderful to feel clean. I'm just saying, I like having clean teeth. So when we all have that experience though, it's really interesting because it's very practical, it's very simple, but we have one conversation like every six months about when our appointment will be, when it's going to happen, and we just say, yep, that's a good date, I'll make it work, and we just make the appointment and forget about it. And we trust that the dentist office will remember our appointment, will keep the appointment, will handle it, and they'll be ready for us when we get there. Okay. But then it comes to when God gives a promise. And we can be a lot like Abraham and Sarah, where we're like, are you sure about that? I mean, mm, haven't really seen it before, or are you sure you wanna do that for me? Okay, let's be honest, guys, let's be honest. We've all been there, and if you haven't already, you're going to be, I'm just saying, it's just human nature. But I think it's really goofy, because it's like, 
okay, we can make an appointment with a dentist office. Like having one conversation with one person, not, not always even the person that is going to be doing the cleaning for us. And we make the appointment and we trust that it's just going to happen. It's just going to be. It is. I haven't seen them for six months, but of course they're going to remember me. And they're going to have everything worked out. But then God starts doing something and he makes a promise and he's like, hey, I'm going to do this in your life. I'm going to come through. I'm going to give you a miracle. You wait on me. You can trust me. And we're like, okay, it's been like a little bit now, Lord. And, I, you know, I haven't heard you talk about that for like three weeks. Are you really sure you're going to come through? Like, I don't mean to be rude, but like, maybe you need my help. Like, you know, I could really help you out here. Here's some ideas. I want you to think about them. Come back to me. I could do some confirmations, you know, kind of do the whole fleece deal. And just let me know because I would love to make sure that this is going to happen. And it's going to happen the way I think it's going to happen. And then the timing, blah, blah, blah. And we feel like we have to have control of it. <sighs> okay, it's just true. We're kind of like that. At least I'm like that. Maybe you're not as rough as I am. But I'm just saying it's kind of a human thing to do. So... My thought today that I wanted to share with you is let's let God at least be esteemed as worthy of our trust as the dentist office. Can we do that? Can we practice that? When we feel a little bit like, oh, just remember, he's got a time and he's got a season. He's, he's purposeful that way. And he's going to make it all beautiful in his time. Maybe you're in the season right now where you're going through the weeping season and you're watering the soil of your heart so that God can grow something beautiful in the time that he brings the laughter season, the joy season. Maybe you're going through a time of mourning, change and loss or or just things happening that you weren't expecting. Maybe there was disappointments, but he's preparing your heart to be open and free so that you can receive that time of dancing and joy and abundance. There are so many things that God's doing when we don't even know it. There's so many plans that he has for us that we can't see in the present all the time. Yet, God is faithful. And he does the things that he does so that we can fear him. Or, you know, in a more modern term, maybe we'll say that we can be in awe of him. You're going to be in awe of God when you see him come through. Because God keeps good appointments. If he can really help an entire nation, literally like millions, at least a couple million people, if he can bring them, the entire people group, out of a land of slavery and bondage, free them from all of that, do all these many mighty works to deliver them and get them out on the exact day that he had appointed, the 430th day. It wasn't 431, it wasn't 429, it was 430 exactly, and they were walking free out of Egypt. What can God do for you? You have Abraham and Sarah receiving their promise. They even tried to work something out in the middle there, and obviously it backfired. God's able to work things out like that for good, but let's just not mess with it <laughs> because he has something so much better. He is trustworthy, and he has kept his word time and time again for others. It's If you need a referral, like I would refer you to my dentist office. God keeps good appointments, and he does a really good job. So why not try out trusting him and just see how it goes because you're going to see it work out. It might take a different amount of time. I mean, your dentist appointments are six months apart, right? There's a time, there's a season, and there might be some time before you see that fruition of his promise. But when you make the appointment with God and when he makes it with you, he comes through. You can trust him. And I'm saying this to myself, and I'm saying it to you. Let's do this together. And in Jesus' name, we're going to see it to come, come to pass, and we're going to trust God more. I love you guys. I will see you at church on Sunday. Bye.